Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this Philip Tower fan. So this is the 5000 series and I um, got this from Amazon and the model number is CX5532. I think it's regional so your might be slightly different if you are from another country. Now this one here stands at almost a meter tall, so 105 centimeters. So this is gigantic, and you can see that on my kitchen table, and this is just huge. So my video is not scripted. What I'm gonna do is open the box, show you guys what your money can buy, and you be the judge of how good or how bad this product is. But for me personally, this is gonna replace this fan that I have for a long time. When I say long time, I must have this for at least like 15 or 20 years. Um, this is Panasonic, it's not even Panasonic. But it has served well and it's still functioning as of today, 2023. I do hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to our channel to help me grow. And let's get on with the unboxing. And this is one of those times that I'm running out of space to show you guys because my lens is not wired enough. But hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It's a fan, so I don't know how much it is to show you guys, but it is coming in the box like that. It does have the plastic end to stop it from rattling. Uh, this is from Philips, so I do expect a high quality product. And um, obviously it comes with a, a high price tag as well. Okay, so out of the pack, we've got the fan body. The free pin cable, a free pin socket for the UK user like me. And just now the rattling noise was the base plate which came off. Luckily it's form packed as well, so it didn't break. Now this is me without reading the instructions, so um, please bear with me. I'm sure, I'm sure we can work it out, right? So to half the circle, there's only one way it will go together. It's not a perfect half circle, so there's only one way it will go in. Then put this twisting back on. Obviously for transportation, they want it to be in a cylinder shape, so it's safe space. Then at home, you still need the base to carry the weight and make it stable. Okay, so a bit of a close up. The mechanism basically is a two half circle that you click together and then spin the uh, nut on top to hold it in place. At the back of the machine right here, you can see a little kind of a flower logo with a dropper bottle. Now this is where you put your fragrance. Now let's say if you want your room to smell like lavender, then you put a few drops of lavender oil there, you push it in. It's supposed to circulate the air out and help your room smell nice. And with low power devices, there should be no reason why they don't give you a longer cable. And that's it. For a tower fan, you have sure got a thick booklet. Instruction booklet, warranty book. Oops. It does come with two AAA battery. Now it's always nice to have a remote for your fan because Let's say you're in bed or you're in a couch and then suddenly you don't need it, you can change it. But it's not the end of the world if you don't have one neither, because they always have this uh, sleep function. You just press like, a timer, it will turn off itself at a certain time. But at this price range, I expect it does have one and I usually Velcro it on the side so you never lose the remote. There is a handle, a recess handle on the back of the fan for you to carry it around. So there is no physical button on top here. Um, it is all touch control. All right, so you got your swing. You can always turn it off so it doesn't swing anymore or you can turn it on. 
So this is a this is now lock in position. But you press it for three seconds. Let's unlock the function. Got the timer button which I was talking about. You got one hour, two hours, four hours, or oh, three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours. So that is quite clever actually. Seven. It's just an additional of the hours by the lights. I, I, I think I think that's I think that's really cool. And then you have your um, sleep mode, and you got your kind of a comfort mode. And then back to fan mode. Now fan, you got your lower power, medium power, and your max power. Now, do I say this is whisper quiet? At the louder setting, no, I can actually hear a lot of fan noise. At the lower setting, yeah, not bad. Don't really, don't really hear much from this. Can I manually turn it? Oh, yeah, turn the bass as well then. Now this is the lowest setting, and I am at far end of the kitchen. And yes, yeah, it's, it's a quite nice, cool breeze. Okay, so on the left we have the Panasonic, on the right we have the Philips 5000. So I'm going to switch both of them on. Now, to be honest with you, this is my personal opinion is that my 15-year-old uh, fan perform just as well as the Philip as I'm standing at about one or two meters away. Noise-wise, marginally, that is more noisy than this, even on the first setting. But it just goes to show that, you know, a fan technology hasn't really changed much. This one has a roller blade, uh, rotational blade inside the machine. Obviously, I guess it's safer that way because you really can't get in. But here, I'm not going to do that. But if I put my finger through there, yeah, it will chop my finger, even though it's just a plastic blade. Um, this one here, really basic. They don't really have the light sleep function or fragrance function. Uh, to be honest, if, you put, if I put a piece of cloth at the back here with the essential oil, I think it would do the same thing, to be honest. But let's go with the maximum power. Because during the heat wave, this is exactly what they will do. I still think I get a lot more air from the Panasonic um, compared to the Philips. In terms of air volume, you can't beat this one. This one is just crazy strong. But at the same time, this is now become an annoying kind of a drone noise. If I switch this one off. Now this one is noisy as well, but it's a different kind of noise. So this one is more like fung, 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 fung noise. But this one is more like a humming kind of a noise, much lower frequency. I think uh, if you do fall asleep, you might forget about the noise which is there. But over the last like you know, 10, 10, 15 years, we have no problem falling asleep with that thing on um, on full power anyway. If it is heat wave, you wouldn't care about the noise. You just want to sleep without like a sweating buckets. But anyway, look at that design. It does look sleek, doesn't it? Over the last 15 years, they, the fan kind of do get a lot nicer in design and Philip is a good brand don't get me wrong if you have the money I always go for the brand products well hope you find my information useful don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel to help me grow can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadget bye bye